women's team finished highest since uh, 2001, finishing third. I mean, what was that meet like for you, for you watching them do that? You know, Matt, honestly, I thought we could be, worst case scenario, second. You know, um, I thought we had a shot going into today um, to win it because um, we had pe we had people positioned in some right places, some right positions, you know. Uh, we had some, some individuals strategically placed. Um, but, you know, we, 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 had, we had a few let down here, letdowns here and there. Um, but I'm pretty proud of the way the, the young women competed. They competed tough. You know what I mean? They they, they went after it. They they, they believed that that they they were one of the teams to, to be reckoned with and, and they did. That that mishap in the four by four and the ankle leg, which would have which which I protested but which would have had us outright second as a as a program, um, you know, that happens in track and field. It, it, unfortunately it happened to us today. Um, but overall, man, I'm, I was just so proud of how, how everybody competed. Everybody. I mean, from Devin Charlton, Simone Black, uh, uh, Kamisha Cox, Aaron Jones, Vanessa McLeod, uh, 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 Sierra, Sierra Brown, Katie Hovitt, uh, uh, Kiara McIntosh, uh, uh, Hope Schmelzley, uh, I, I mean, Elizabeth Iverson. I mean, just the way they competed, Savannah, Savannah Carson, they competed very, 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 very well. And, um, you know, we're a better team outdoors. You know, we're a stronger team outdoors just because of the way the schedule and the events that we pick up. So, are we going away? We're not going away no time soon. And I'm, I'm grateful to the Lord for for what we've what we've accomplished thus far. Now we just got to finish it off with a few. We got going to the national championships and then go from there. The names that you just mentioned. I mean, how excited do you get when you look at that and you realize they're all coming back? Not one of them are seniors. Well, they're all the, they're all the freshmen and sophomores with one junior. You know what I mean? It just it just bodes to the talent that that, that, that we were we were blessed to be able to recruit. Um, um, you know, that, at the end of the day, that's all the ball's down to. Man. You know, they're talented young women, and um, we just got to continue to 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 nurture that and keep them healthy. You know, and, and going into the outdoor season, I believe that we will be a, we will continue to be a player in the Big Ten. We will always be relevant in this league. You know, if it, if if we have any if our staff have anything to do with it, we will always be relevant. We will not be 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 non-relevant if there's a way of putting it you know um you know we just got some work on the men's side to do you know we thought we would have Raheem going to going into the with him we're fifth you know on the men's side because he was a he was 20 points I know no, nothing is guaranteed but he's heads over heel better than everybody else in this league so with him we're fifth that quickly you know or, or even better so it is what it is you know we'll move on we will correct those issues on the men's side going forward and with, with what we have coming what we have signed going forward on the women's side, I'm excited to where the future of this program is going to be. Right, I don't want to leave the men entirely out. I mean, they did have some pretty stellar performances, especially Chuck picking up 16 points. I mean, just talk about that a little bit, some of those performances. Chuck's a warrior, man. Chuck's, you know, Chuck's got a little twinge in his knee, but he still was able to stand in the gap and, and cover for us. You know what I mean? What he did was huge, you know, to, to go second in the shot, second in, in the weight, and then to have just the way he competed and not being 100%. Now, what we got to do right now between now and then is get him pain-free for the national championship. You know, um, he and, and Devin and a few others will move on to the national championship. I'm, I'm excited and I'm grateful for that. But, you know, uh, uh, old boss, you know, he got baptized by fire, you know, as a, uh, as a sophomore and, and in the final of the Big Ten 400 meters. You know, you told me, he said, Coach, man, they were moving so fast for 200 meters. I said, welcome to the Big Ten. You know, um, just... The way they all compete. Matt McClintock has always been Matt McClintock. He's been he's been a stable for us. You know he's been he's been a foundation for us. You know Tate Scheinbein is coming into his own. You know Jake Waterman, who's always been consistent since he's been here. It really was an honor for me to have called myself his coach. You know he, he's just he's just a warrior. You know and, and Byron Farrell, you know who fought his way back to get back on the team and and and, and to come and finish fifth year. I believe he's going to even be better outdoors. So. You know, our 4 but one is going to be great outdoors. Our 4 but 4 is going to be great outdoors. we got some great events. Outdoors, we become a better team on both sides. So we just got to keep doing what we do and, and, and go forward.